Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today, we are listening to the singer Lisa Gerard. This particular video was recommended to me by one of our patrons, and aside from the movie Gladiator, I don't believe I have heard any of her work before. So, here we go. That first note took me by surprise. It was so low and so rich and so deep. My mind has been racing as I've been watching. Um, it sounds to me like she sings for a lot of this. She's keeping a lowered soft palate position and her tongue is um, fairly high in the mouth. So there are moments when it is touching. There. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to go all the way back to the beginning because I know this is a long one. Um, but I want to see if I can point that out to you. So we're going back a little bit. Yeah. goodness this wasn't the example I was thinking of because it we were hearing a little bit more opening a little bit of lift in the soft palette but then we got so much nasal resonance at the end of that phrase and it's impossible to have that much sound come out of your nose and have a lifted soft palette so I hope she I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find the example I was thinking of we'll see if if it happens again um, Man, phrasing is incredible, obviously. It just feels like this constant wave of sound is coming at us, but we're getting so many different levels in terms of dynamics and colors, and it's just beautiful and astounding. Let me, here we go. Sorry. 
oh man, I, I'm going to need to watch this a few times. That sounded very much like she had transitioned into a head mix. <laughs> What is, I am realizing now why I was so astounded by this at the beginning. We get, I mean, it's low, obviously, in her range, um, and it's still very warm, but we're getting this sense of added air pressure without it feeling or sounding like she's pushing. I... I think it's her breath utilization on these low notes that are so captivating. <laughs> Okay, we're listening to that again. That little turn in there, there's so many things happening. difference between that open space with the the lifted palette and then and then the lowering of the palette let me gosh listen to this this one one note you can almost hear how it changes one more 
more time. I'm sorry. This is such a great exercise for singers um, to pick one note. And certainly you can change a lot with dynamics and your volume, but also playing around with your resonators um, and your articulators, you know, moving the tongue position in your mouth, you moving the jaw position, um, thinking of placement in a different way when it comes to the sound, whether it's very forward, whether it's back, um, whether you feel the sound, you know, on your hard palate or on your soft palate. Um, and then, you know, thinking of nasal resonance and so many different things. You can do so much with one note. And hearing her do this little morph is a great example of that. Sorry, how gorgeous, how gorgeous is this head voice? She's allowing a tiny bit of vibrato to seep in every once in a while, but it doesn't sound like that traditional Western classical technique. Sorry, we have to hit the precision with which she attacked that note. Like her onset, it just sort of came out of nowhere, but it was also so neat, like tied like a little bow. It was just placed so perfectly. Oops, sorry, one more. I love how at the end she decrescendoed both 
vocally on her own, but also with the microphone and just added that extra effect. Um, I'm really glad we got to see a different angle, like a close up, so we could see more of her mouth. And her tongue was in fact very high in her mouth. So I'm led to believe that there were moments where it could have been touching her soft palate if it was low enough. And I think that's what gives us that sort of almost like a horn-like sound, that tone, that timbre. Um, the other thing that blew me away watching this was her intonation, her ear, the way she was moving through these melodic lines, because there were many moments where this accompaniment came after she made the move, which makes sense, you know, if it's sort of... <sighs> I don't know, it felt almost like a vocalese where you have the freedom to do it in your own timing and so you just need someone to follow along with that. So he had to wait for her cue or cues on many occasions and to be able to hear those notes and oh, just move to them so strategically while simultaneously doing so much um, to change your own tone. It was just, it was a lot. <laughs> I need to, I need to watch it again, but, um, wow, beautiful. And I love that we got to hear so much variety. We got more of that head dominant mix. We got a lot of chest dominant mix. We got that open oral cavity space, but also moments where it felt, um, more nasal or it had, like I said, that horn-like quality, just uh, so many things. <sighs> that is it for today. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching with me, and hopefully I will see you next time.